pump fix, guys. Let's stop all that, all right? Hey, welcome to the Doghouse again. This is the second show of Hot Diggity Dog. Um, we're in today. We've got the couple of guys, two for the price of one. We've got <laughs> two firemen that are rowing the Atlantic naked. We've got Brother Steve who will be playing with us later. The cow, the cow and the girls. They're in today. Lovely ladies. They're raising money for a good charity, Helping Heroes. And we've got the cross-dressing cook. Cro well, we're trying to perform in the cross-dressing cook anyway. That's uh, Young Stu. Uh, special guest today, we've got uh, Eggsy and Reese from Gold Looking Shane. God knows where they are. I left, I, left them in, I left them in the production plant a minute ago. I don't know what they're up to. Anyway, enjoy the show. We'll be back now. Okay, first off, we got some cooking tonight by the, I'm trying to persuade him to become a cross-dressing cook, but he's not really going there yet. I reckon a bit more on his pay packet, he might quite do it. So, Stu, what have we got today, mate? We've got chicken breast with some chorizo sausage. We're going to add some peppers, red onion, chopped tomatoes, and then we're going to spice it up with some hot diggity dog sauce. Right, you carry on, mate. In the meantime, right, I'm going to introduce these guys. Luckily today, where we're filming, two doors down, we've got the Vale of Morgan Brewery kindly supplying the beer. It's like Barry's own wheat curry. I think they've done one for Tiger Woods as well, saying Tiger Wood, W-O-U-L-D, with a golf ball in the cleavage, but there you go. Okay, we've got the first guest coming on tonight. It's kind of a special treat for me. Um, these guys here are doing a wonderful job. They've, off their own batch, created a calendar. It's a lot of models from Barry. We're lucky enough to have uh, three of them in the studio today. Uh, it's called Doing It Military Style. I'd like to introduce you to the first guest, the Calendar Girls. So, what, tell, I'm thinking here we've got Betty Bomber, yes. Randy Rifle, yes. and is it Major Mischief? Yes. Right, okay, we've got the guys here, these are some awesome names. Aren't we? <laughs> Who's the instigation behind it? What, what actually happened? Right, um, well, my husband's idea really. Um, we were sat there one night, um, Don was going into photography, I'm modelling in any way, and we actually saw, we were watching the news, a bottle of wine, and there was three soldiers going through Whitman Bassett, and we decided to. Um, do a calendar and do it completely in support of Help for Heroes because we think that they're doing a wonderful job out there. And basically, that's where the idea was born. Hey, it's a great idea. I mean, this, this calendar here, these guys have pulled it together. It's uh, 12 pages of fun, let me tell you. <laughs> it's, uh, we've got lots of stuff. We've got the names are cracking. We've got Sergeant Sweet Cheeks. We've got Randy Rifle. We've got him. Colonel Cutie. We've got Air Force Annie. Captain K, oh, it's just immense, mate. You've got to, these guys, you're not, there's some at the bar available from the Vale of Morgan Brew. You are not allowed to leave here until you bought one of these. There are five or each. It's going for a good cause. I know from following you guys, it's taken a lot of work to get this together in a yeah, short me. space of time. Are you going to be doing it again next year? Oh, might do. Watch might have some cheeky men. Yes. <laughs> well, I think the two firemen at the back of the naked chefs might know. We have eyes on there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, steer clear in them. I've known them for a long time. <laughs> Watching you. I think you get the cheeky girls a anyway. So you're all from Barry, you're all doing this. So how, how many calendars do you think you sold so far? Oh, roughly about 300. Yeah. Wow, that many. Yes. And how many have you got left to sell? Probably another 100. 100 this week, right. You're not leaving, guys, without supplying them. I'm They're limited five edition, reach. so you must get them now, because you won't get them anywhere else. Have you also got limited edition posters and postcards as well? Posters yes. and postcards. And where can they find that? What's, what's, where are they being sold? Um, they can either get them off the doingitmilitarystyle.com website, or we've got uh, Watting Card. That's, that's militarystyle.com. That's right. one word, one word. Right. Doing it military style, not doing it doggy style, doing it military style. <laughs> <laughs> All day I've been saying that, doing it doggy style, if you want to make sure it's doing it military style dot com. That's right. Right, okay, now next, next week we're doing the same show, we've got a few people coming in next week, but you guys have kindly come dressed as Santa next week, I believe. Yes. As much as I love your uniforms today, and when I was in the Navy you had nothing new uniforms like that. <laughs> That's another story, we won't go there, right? But next week you're going to come and hopefully dress in Santa suits for us on the Christmas yes. special. Yes. Well, listen, guys, right, okay, this is the calendar, girls. You've got to buy their calendar. If they do it again next year, they've got our full support. But uh, we've got to get this national. This is really something special coming from Barry. And it's not just Gavin and Stacey that comes from Barry. It's these guys as well, and they're doing their bit for the, for the guys, the great course of help for heroes. Listen, guys, thanks ever so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, and that's that. Right, okay, what we've got next is uh, we're going to check out some of uh, Stuart's Culinary skills here. I'm trying, still trying to get him cross-dressing. He's not listening yet. 
But uh, we will have it next week, I'm telling you. Then we're going to go up to some rather unusual cookie by the naked chefs on the boat. We'll come to that now. Right, Stu, how are we getting on? It's a few minutes away. It's uh, something I prepared a few minutes ago, though, if uh, you'd like to come up and try. Come on, guys. Some of the military style guys, come on, come and have a try here. Okay, I'm going to leave these guys tasting some of this here. What I'm going to do is come up to the back now. What we've got is the Atlantic Dash Boys. Uh, in the middle, we've got Brother Steve sitting enjoying themselves, looking at having a can. Hey. We've got the Atlantic Dash Boys there. Two firemen are going to be rowing the Atlantic. It's going to take them three months and two hours shifts each. So two hours on, two hours off. Two, one sleeps, one rows. They're taking them all the way across. They'll be at sea for Christmas next year, which is kind of a, a nice thing today and next year. However, the way you'll see them dressed now in a minute is not that good. But uh, let's introduce you. We've got uh, John and Kev, these guys here. Hi guys, how are you doing? They're rowing the Atlantic next year uh, for charity. I, I believe it's for the Healthy Heroes Charity, Breast Cancer Awareness and Firefighters Fire Benevolence. Fighters charity, yeah. Three charities close to us. Like, right. yeah, we've all been affected by them. What, why? 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 What's possessed you to do that? <sighs> Why not? You know, who, who wouldn't want to spend three months in a boat with that, eh? <laughs> well, I know he's an ex-marine, so they said, well, yeah, it's, steady, no, it's, uh, it's the naval steady, soldiers, eh? Steady. Adventures in us all, I think, isn't it? You know, I've always had a bit of adventure. Look at my bookshelf, is Captain Cook and Randall Fiennes. Captain and Pugwash. And Captain Pugwash, and I've always been a bit of an armchair adventurer, so when this happened, how could you turn it down? I think like, the main you know? thing as well, Sight, you know, at this day and age, people are quite hard to part with their cash. So we thought yeah, of yeah. something extreme. Yeah, to, <laughs> it is extreme. To go, oh my God, you know, here's some money. Three and months it, at it, sea. This is the extreme. Three thousand miles. Jesus. You know, that's and you're, you're living on board here. The two of you are on board this here. Is it? I take this it that's the living quarters in there then. It's, it's three months, all inclusive. Hey, it's a good we hotel, take, eh? It's not bad. We take all the food. We. Uh, how, how much are you intending to raise? Well, our target is £100,000. We're not going to stop until we've reached that. Okay, Even nice. after the trip, if we've got to do, um, we've got to go to shows and do videos and, and stuff. You've actually been, I know these guys, you've been in Asda's and Tesco's and yeah, supermarkets yeah, and stuff yeah, doing yeah. like full marathons and full yeah, fire kit. Full 26 full miles in full fire kit, yeah. raising money for days and days. Yeah. And you still haven't lost any weight. Yeah, well, we've got to bulk up <laughs> Okay, so you're three months at sea, you obviously can't take your own food to sea. Hang on, let me get in there. How well, the hell are you going to be come cooking, guys? Come and take a seat. Come on, take a seat. I'll pile right. up here. Right, how are we doing this? Okay, so what exactly are you going to be cooking? Right, well, for three months, we're going to be living on this. What is it? Freeze dried, high calorie ration, feel that's lightweight, and all the holes are going to be packed with that. 8,000 calories a day, so we've got to have loads and loads of this. But Christmas Day, we obviously catch fish, so. Uh, Christmas Day. So you're going to be over the side catching fish? Kev's been over earlier, caught us a fresh tuna. Happy okay. with that, the tuna's good. We have a, make sure we have a nice fillet in life. We've got some nice fresh tuna sticks, okay? Chuck it in. We'll chuck it in. A bit of olive oil. We're going to have, obviously, hot diggity sauce. So that's our sauce then, yeah? Yep. <coughs> yep. Uh, some white wine. We're not going to cook it out. That's a drink. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And there. Uh, Basically, that's going to taste gorgeous after you've been up for three months. So pretty much you're going to be eating bag food with anything you've caught? Yeah, totally. Totally, totally yeah. unsupported for three months. So anything on the boat is all we take. So when you say unsupported, we're looking at no helicopters, no planes, no nothing. nothing. We're out of range of helicopters, a plane so can't what, really what do anything goes wrong? for us. If the proverbial it's the fan, yeah. we've got electronic <laughs> systems that will alert the authorities, but it could still be up to a week for rescue. Jesus. Yeah. That's pretty frightening, guys, I'm going to tell you. Right, so, while this is cooking, right, what I'm going to do, guys, is if you can carry on cooking. Yeah, we will do. Once you finish there, if I can ask you to come back down the front, we're going to interview okay. some other guests. And, hey, guys, well done, Jim. I hope too. you raise all the, all the charity money you need. So, um, before we go, right, what's the website? How can we donate? AtlanticDash.com. Yeah. we got PayPal. PayPal have agreed that they won't take any fees. So, go to AtlanticDash.com. Yeah. Go to PayPal. On AtlanticDash.com and, and PayPal are doing it for us for free. Every money done, every penny donated will go straight to charity. Okay. Thanks very much, guys. All the best. Right, that's enough talking for now. We've got the resident band in Brother Steve. They're going to be doing a cover tonight of uh, Rihanna's Rude Boy with another little twist to it. Ooh. Take it away, Brother Steve. Let's go.
you. <laughs>